a little bit of magic, you know, she... The ghosts just fell down. Boo! Hello, my lovelies, and welcome back to my channel. So today, I have a spooky home goods haul. I got so many good things. I'm so excited. I... Oh, I love Halloween shopping. Halloween and Christmas shopping. It's the best. It's the best. I love it. I look forward to it every single year. My husband does not because he knows how crazy I get. But <laughs> um, I got some amazing things and I can't wait to share it with you guys. But before we begin, let me remind you that subscribing is 100% free. So please click that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and click that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post. I post every single week. So trust me, you don't want to miss out. Alrighty, gals and ghouls, let's get started. I don't even know where to start. I don't even know. I'm so excited. Okay, so as you know, I starting um, around this time, I start to go to Home Goods religiously, like every single weekend, <laughs> because I am on the hunt for this Mickey Mouse cookie jar. It's a Mickey Mouse pumpkin cookie jar. Okay, um, let me just show you. Um, so last year, again, I was on the hunt, but all I could find were these little guys. It's a little tea light holder. So this is why I go every single time, every weekend and um this is why i accumulated so many things because my the eye wanders okay and uh there's a lot of cool stuff at home goods so i was on the lookout for this cookie jar stay tuned to see if i found find it or not i did mention this guy in a previous haul but i thought i would go ahead and show him because i did get him from home goods he was 9.99 and he's a mickey pumpkin mug perfect for halloween and for the fall in general i'm just going to start off with this big item because he's huge and he's taking up all of my room. I can't, I can barely see you guys. It is this guy right here. So you can, I think, well, you can't even hook these off, can you? Uh, they're supposed to hold like treats, like candy or whatever. I know that's, I think it's called Grandin Road has a more expensive version of this. This was $19.99, made in India. These are gold pots. I really wanted it to be matte black, so I might spray paint it or something. I don't know yet. This would be great for Halloween and St. Patrick's Day. I was thinking, like, this looks like a pot of gold, you know? I mean, except the pot is actually gold. But yeah, I'm, I'm actually thinking of spray painting these a matte black. I think that would be really cool. Um, after getting these, I did go into Michael's and I saw that they had a version of this. I actually liked the look of that version a lot better. It was a little bit more expensive. I think it was like $25, and but I did like the shape of the cauldron a little bit better. It was like more round and the... Um, color was like black, black cauldrons. They were a little bit smaller than this, but still very, very cute. The only thing is um, it said it was made out of glass, which I did not want. These are, I don't know what, it's like aluminum? I'm not even sure what it's made out of. It's like a tin. Um, and I prefer that over glass, um, even though I would love to have glass items and all of the breakable things, but from moving across the country a couple of times, I have learned to, if you can, have an option like if you have an option between something made of glass versus something like this always go for something like this because uh almost always your precious fragile items no matter how much you label them as fragile they end up broken so that is why i just stuck with this and i thought this was so cool like oh especially if you have like a party or something oh my gosh it'd be really really cool these have been impossible to find i looked online for several years now for something just like this but they've always been sold out the company i guess it's called broomstick boulevard let me know in the comment section should i spray paint it matte black i really don't know i have no idea i like the gold but mm, i want it to look like little little pots uh, little ceramic black pots you know or little cauldrons anyways this year has been all about the ghosts for me i don't know if it's they just made them extra cute this year or i never really noticed them before but i have been obsessed with all of the little ghost items that they have this is actually the first halloween item i think i got this season i think and um i think ever since i got this it's just been all about the ghosts these are so cute look at them boo very very adorable um this was 16.99 and this is the brand in case you're wondering these are my new little buddies and of course i had to get this guy to match this was actually in the checkout aisle this is how they get you okay that checkout aisle is dangerous if there's a reason why it loops around at, like it does because all of the goodies are hidden in that checkout aisle i thought they matched very well and <laughs> look how cute oh my gosh <sighs> so yeah 
Let me go to the middle one. The middle one's my favorite. Oh, but also the bottom one. So, so cute. Ugh, I'm obsessed with these. This one was $14.99. And these are like a hard plastic or wood or I'm not I'm not sure, but not breakable. So that's why I was like, all right, we'll go ahead and get both of them. <laughs> and I have been seeing more of these all over like all the home goods that I've went to and I've been to like a lot of home goods. Uh, but they seem to have like a greenish tint. So I think those are actually glow in the dark. So if you prefer that, just just to let you know, there is another version of this exact same thing, same faces, same exact thing, except the ghosts are painted in like a glow in the dark paint, I believe. They had like that, you know, that greenish tint that the glow in the, in the dark um, paint has. So um, just to let you know. This one also on another one of my home goods visits, uh, I think this was in the checkout aisle. And it says, happy Halloween. And the witch hat and um i'm in the middle of watching all of the harry potter movies and this font just reminds me of harry potter and it's glittery of course so i did get it and this was 16.99 i did see this in a like a couple of weekends before and i almost got it then and i literally looked at it and then i put it down and I walked over on the same aisle. Like I walked over to look at one other thing. And then when I went back for this, it was gone. Like li it took two seconds for someone to pick this up and leave forever with it. So I was like, okay, you're going to regret if you don't snatch it up this time. So I got it this time. And there was another one there too. So yeah, really, really cool. I love this. Oh, so excited. The back is just plain by the way, but yes, I love it. So going along with the ghosts, I don't know where the package for this went. But I did get a tablecloth, and if I find it, I'll include a picture of the packaging because I don't know which brand or, or anything this is. But I got a ghost tablecloth. I didn't have a Halloween tablecloth, and so I thought this was perfect. And it's metallic, but the ghosts are see-through, just like a real ghost, you know? I thought that was really clever. And yeah, I just really loved this design. Even my husband was like, that's pretty cute. That's a cute idea. And um... This, unfortunately, is kind of too short for my table. It's like the exact size of my table. My table is just huge. I never realized how big my dining room table is. I don't even know why we have such a big time dining room table. But anyways, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it work. I'm gonna see, maybe I can like stitch a little ruffle pattern or something around it to, to make it a little longer. I don't know. But this one was so cute. And um, I do remember on the packaging, um, it said, it was oblong like the shape was oblong there was round and then there was oblong like there were two options and oblong that's word just sounds so weird now that i said it so many times but <laughs> um, but that usually means it's like an oval shape the ghost just fell down okay that usually means that um it's like an oval shape but this was actually a rectangle like my husband was like no like on the back of the packaging it had either circle or rectangle it didn't say oblong it was said rectangle or circle so i don't know if that's why it ended up in home goods because of a packaging error i don't know but this was a rectangle luckily and our dining table is a rectangle so just letting you know if you see it say oblong on there um most likely it'll be a rectangle so i have this obsession with throw blankets i just i can't have enough um where do i store all of them i have no idea i'm running out of room but I just love a good throw blanket and we use them all the time. So I got this one upside down. All right, let me show you. Um, here, they're right at the bottom. This one was $12.99 and I just loved the haunted house. I love the silhouette of a haunted house. It's so cool to me. I love like architecture and stuff like that, but uh, not be, I would never go into a haunted house. I don't like that. I just like the look of a haunted house. I think it's really, interesting and then i saw these little three girls next to it so cute look at him and then you have the little black cat but look okay look how cute the pumpkin is i thought the pumpkin was the cutest thing i don't know why <laughs> just a little round pumpkin oh but the main thing that caught my eye was the um haunted house but i did see online um like on instagram that home goods has this other throw blanket and i'm thinking 
that I make. Because I'm trying not to, like, just have a bunch of Halloween throw blankets. I just want, like, a couple. And I already have a white Halloween throw blanket from last year that I hauled. So I don't know if I am going to keep this. I have no idea. I haven't decided yet. Because I really, really want the other one that I saw people posting about. But I have not found it in any of my home goods. I, It just doesn't exist. So I haven't decided. Um, just let me know your opinion. I mean, is this, is this, I know it's super cute, but like, should I hold out for the one that I really, really want? Or should I go ahead and keep this one? I don't know. But we have this little six foot garland and it's like one of those knitted garlands. And this was $16.99 and it has a ghost candy corn and the little hat, but I like the knitted, um, fabric. It just, I don't know, it looks very cozy. And I told you, it's like all about the ghosts. I was like obsessing over ghosts all of a sudden. So, uh, I don't know where exactly I'm going to put this. Maybe around my coffee station or something. I don't know. I have no idea. But you will see. This year, during uh, my annual <laughs> Decorate With Me for Halloween, um, we'll figure it out together. This pillow, I have seen for the last couple of years. <laughs> okay. And every time I was like, no, I, I would talk myself out of it. But this year I was like, you know what? Just get it. Just get it. And... Uh, I feel like they raised the price of it. They raised the price of everything this year. But anyways, this is what it looks like. I will say that online it said it was like $19.99, like on the Home Goods website, but in store uh, it's $24.99. So I don't know why. Just to let you know, if you want to save five bucks, order it online. <laughs> I don't know how much shipping is. I have no idea, but the pillow itself. So the witch is out. But then when you go like this, you know those those ones that you can like slide up how cool is that i mean i thought it was really cool like a little bit of magic you know <laughs> ah it makes the pillow extra magical i was trying desperately not to get any pillows i just want to get pillow covers but to find cute pillow covers like that is impossible they just don't exist they don't exist or they are ridiculously expensive actual pillows like this are just so hard to store and this pillow like i don't know how i'm going to wash this without ruining this <laughs> so that's another thing that i'm contemplating so i don't know if i should keep this or not i don't know but i really do love it let me know in the comment section what you guys think now we are finally on to the last item or items um like i mentioned in the beginning of this video i have been on the hunt for the makey pumpkin cookie jar all right so last year i got three of these little candle holders and this year still no luck but i did find these so they're a little bit bigger, but they're still like candle holders, but they're bigger. So I got two of them. There were like four of them in the store and I was like, what? What? I was really excited, really, really excited. So yeah, this is from last year, this is from this year. So hopefully I will get my hands on that cookie jar. These were both um, $14.99. I will continue going to Home Goods until I find that Mickey pumpkin cookie jar. And I'll also, I forgot to mention, I have been on the hunt for um, a Halloween wreath. I can't find a good one. I really want it to have black, orange, purple, and light green, like, like a Tinkerbell green. Um, because those are the colors that I decorate with for Halloween. And I cannot find a wreath that has all of those colors and that is not ridiculously expensive so i don't know if this year i'm going to make my own wreath i don't know um it's still early uh, ish so we'll see we'll see if they come out with anything cool if not um you and i will be making a wreath together because i'm tired of waiting i don't know uh it just doesn't seem to exist from what i've seen but anyways um, if you have seen or know of like a wreath or something with all those colors and looks really cool and is not ridiculously priced, please let me know in the comment section because I'm looking for it. And um, I will continue to look for that Mickey Pumpkin cookie jar. I will not rest until he is found. Alrighty, you guys. So that is it for my home goods Halloween haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.